I was going through my bits and pieces the other day and came across a bunch of um, distributors from an RB30 motor and I thought, I wonder if I could fit this to the Datsun. Expand the description for this video to see a timestamp breakdown of the key points in this video. Uh, also, there are some links to our social media and some ways you could support the channel. If we're meeting for the first time, also have a look at some other videos and consider subscribing. My Australian viewers will be uh, familiar with um, the RB30 I'm talking about. It's a single overhead cam motor um, produced in Australia, I believe, came in R31 Skylines and Holden Commodores, VL specifically. I, I previously had a VL Turbo, um, which was quite a rocket when it decided to go, but that's what this distributor's from, from an RB30. I came across, I have two of these. Um, now, this is a distributor with an optical sensor uh, it's probably close to what the uh, 280ZX turbos had. Um, it's just the normal distributor, distributor cap, got a rotor button in there, and it's got an optical disc, which I believe is the same configuration as just about any of the optical sensors that Nissan produced at the time. Um, but I was looking at it, I thought, there was two things that came to my mind. Um, if I could get it to work, it retains the distributor look, which is what I like, because I like my MSD6AL. I don't think I would replace it. Um, and the other thing that this has is the optical sensor is a disc. It has two rows. Uh, the outer row is 360 little increments and the inner row is six increments to determine um, uh, phasing of the cylinders, I believe it's called. Um, but I thought that that would most likely overload my mega squirt, but I thought, well, I'll have a look and see what we can, you know, if that disc can be swapped. And then I remembered, I actually have a disc that's uh, a 12 minus one. Because this rotates differently to the crankshaft, it has two sets of 12 marks um, instead of one. Otherwise, it ro rotates half as fast as the crankshaft, so it needs to have twice as much information to represent the crankshaft. But I thought, yeah, I think I'll investigate looking at that. I've got a bit of downtime while I rebuild the brakes. I did forget to mention uh, this motor is running a locked standard distributor with the Mega Squirt ECU controlling the ignition timing. If you want to see how to, I lock that distributor, um, I'll throw that video up in the cards for you to have a look at. If that focuses, this is the Nissan chopper disc. You can see the outside row is 360 little slots and then the inner row is 6 with a bigger one for cylinder 1. Now this is the chopper disc I got from DIY Auto-Tune. Um, it can be used for sequential ignition if you had a smart enough ECU. This is the, the in indicator for cylinder one, but you can see it's a 12 minus one times two because it um, rotates half as fast on the crankshaft. But yeah, same size. Now, there's a few other people that make this. I believe Haltech make it and whatnot, but what this would allow me to do um, is if I chose to, I wouldn't need to re retain the distributor cap. Um, I could just have this disc in there and that, that would allow me to run, um, for my application, um, coil over plug, but a wasted spark means, well, I could actually probably do full coil over plug if I put enough ignition drivers in. Um, and that would mean, I'd, I believe there are, you can get a cap that just, that, that you plonk on the top that takes away the distributor cap plus the rotor button. It just is a disc that sits on top and you essentially could use it as cool over plug, but which may be an option, I guess, if I got this working, but I think I'll retain the, the MSD 6AL. So the, um, this is the uh, optical sensor that sits in the distributor, much like the, the 280ZX turbo distributor. Um, it's a Mitsubishi component, but if you can see it, it fits in that slot there excuse me, rotates around. Um, but this is, uh, you can get replacement of these from um, spares box and various other places. Um, there's a few manufacturers that make these just because the VLs um, are popular, particularly the VL turbos, they do a lot of drag cars with those guys. So things I'm gonna check uh, before I get too further is just the, the physical geometry of one of these in comparison to the Datsun distributor. And I thought, I'll check to see if the ignition leads actually fit this distributor cap, which would be a bonus because then you just swap them over. But I'll do that by just um, putting one or two of them on and seeing if I get the same resistance 
um, as I would with the dats and caps. So I'll do these things now. All right, so here at the, the distributor side, I'll just take this cap off. I'll use this lead as the control lead. See what we get in terms of resistance. 963 ohms. Like that. This distributor cap I came across from my bits and pieces looks fairly new, so we'll just stick that on. Hmm. Same. There you go. So it would appear the standard DATS and ignition leads will fit on this distributor cap. It's exciting. Got the distributor out. I didn't put some form of connector on the Petronics to be able to easily be able to remove it. Um, but I've taken it all the way down to the boss that sits on the timing cover. Um, that's, uh, I, I wanted to see the bottom of the shaft the height from the bottom of the shaft where it sits on the, the drive to the top of the distributor to check the heights there. So this is the whole assembly. I figured that was fair because if that's the bottom of the drive shaft and if I come up with something that retains this the drive shaft on the RB30, well that's probably a good comparison. So just looking, they're probably similar heights. Probably this the DVL is obviously a little bit taller, which is probably not a bad thing I, my, my concern was that this would be too tall and I wouldn't be able to retain the distributor style which I'm after retaining in here so um, yeah that's, that's interesting it's good it's good that it's very similar as far as being able to adapt this to this boss here I believe these these uh, I believe these spots here are too a large, too large a diameter to fit through the the boss, and I'd either have to cut this down and machine these to fit in there, or come up with some custom bracket. So just to give another demonstration of how this would likely sit in amongst all this other stuff is probably sit somewhere in there. Got a bit of tightness issues amongst the the thermostat, but I mean. I think if I'm clever, I could rotate this so nothing, nothing clashes. But yeah, that um, that looks pretty good. I mean, if I get that to work, that'd be I'd be very chuffed. So summing up, I think I'll investigate. I'll grab a few more measurements, but I think I'll investigate making a bracket that sits on the boss, that fits these um, dimensions here, and can utilise this original seal. Um, I'll work towards having to knock the pin out of this and swap this over but I think if I can get a bracket to work that sits on the um, timing cover that would be great um, I, I don't I don't really want to be modifying this if I a personal challenge if I can get a bracket that works that allows someone to grab one of these swap the drive over and attach it to the Datsun motor I'll be chuffed I mean that's I'm, I'm, I'm trying to help others with DIY so if I could do that I think that 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 would be good, um, but yeah, for the for the folk that aren't that are, at, are not Australian, the, getting a, a an optical drive, particularly two eighty ZX turbo distributor, ten years ago that was near impossible, um, and we were importing them from the states, you know, through eBay and whatnot. And now I think it's just they're as rare as hen's teeth. So I think these are there's heaps of them around. Uh, are these in Australia? So if I can get a bracket system to work. You know, I think that would that would be a good substitute. It's basically the same thing. It's just that here down is different between the two. So, yeah, cool. Um, I think I will uh, go ponder on it a bit more. If you got value from this video, hit the like button. If we're new to the channel, have a look around and consider subscribing. Have a look at the video for the locked standard Datsun distributor, as well as whatever YouTube recommends. I'll see you in the next video, and thank you for watching.